In this video, I found my top five favorite GIFs of all time, and I gave them a sound. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Hey, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button and remember to hit subscribe so you never miss a tutorial just like this one. So what are my favorite GIFs? Well, of course, uh, fireworks exploding across the internet, something you want to keep an eye on, something you're watching on the edge of your seat. It's Michael Jackson munching on popcorn. And maybe a hee hee or something like that in the background. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, GIF number two is Homer Simpson disappearing away there into a little bush. Yeah, and you could just see his nose poking out. That's very nice. GIF three. I talk about this a lot when I'm working in Adobe apps. Adobe magic and many unicorns, of course, working at Adobe. Unique software there, doing amazing things. GIF 4 from The Great Gatsby. <laughs> you want to give an ironic? Cheers. Here's your ironic. Cheers, you. And then GIF 5, we all have days where we feel like this. We just want to go rip, zoop, zoop. <laughs> I love that one. I love that one. What would it be like to cover myself in sand. Probably quite painful, but anyway, I love the fact that he does it in one foul swoop like that. I feel a in that GIF. Anyway, as you'll see, if I go to my default workspace now, uh, these GIFs all have no sound to them like that, but I'm going to add the sounds and make them really cool. And by the way, if you want to download the sounds that I create for these GIFs today, go to the link in the description to this video and they're yours to use as you wish. Okay, let's head into the multi-track of Adobe Audition. I've got something set up here already and we're going to do each GIF one by one. Uh, so the first one, obviously Michael Jackson crunching on popcorn. Uh, so I'm just going to hit record here and just see what kind of sounds I can create. Uh, I do happen to have on me a wonderful packet of sweet and salty popcorn. So let's see if we can record some sounds that we can use in this GIF. And of course, the all important crunching coming up. Got it. Okay. So let's look at what's happening in this GIF. So we've got like, yeah going into the packet there, and then crunch. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this recorded audio here on the second track, and I'm going to kind of enhance the sound a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll quickly skip over to waveform view, and I'm going to use the favorites to normalize this audio, make it a little bit louder. And the same with the starting audio there. Normalize to minus 3 dB, so now we've got nice loud audio. Okay, this, that could be a really good one. So I'm gonna clip that out. Now we need to find some crunching coming up. Let's find a good sort of bag. We got maybe a sound effect here that we can use. Let's try it. Okay, perfect. So something like that. Maybe I'm gonna put some reverb on this as well, make it really pop out. But these are my two elements that I'm gonna use. So the bag and the popcorn crunching. Let's look at the actions and try and fit to the actions. So we've got popcorn going straight in the mouth. Okay. Let's see if I can sync up my crunches uh, with the crunches on the screen. So what have we got? Okay. So obviously when I'm working an audition with video, I can see precisely where my sound is going and when it's hitting. So it's going in the mouth and it's crunching there. So let's try. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit further. Okay. Okay, and where does the next frame start? Right about there, so we need to be out by then. And we'll bring the bag crunch in as well. Maybe make that a little bit quieter in a second. Just a small amount. Let's turn it down in the mix and play back. Maybe a little bit, tiny bit more and a fade at the end. Let's try that. shorter okay now let's loop that round and see what we get here so we've got something like this let's turn snapping on so we can easily snap those in 
And again, snap around. So now we should be building up a picture of what it looks like looped and see if we've got something that's spot on. <laughs> okay, that's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's add some reverbs on now to uh, make it sound good. So I'll go into the effects rack here. I'm going to go for a, a studio reverb, very simple, uh, small reverb on the, the, the packet. And then we'll use some different reverb on the crunching itself. We might go for a wider, bigger reverb like the vocal reverb medium. Maybe too much there. That's actually not too bad, is it? Let's just make sure we're like syncing up exactly with the loop there. Okay, so right about where the mouth heads back up. We are starting off with that sound and again, just going to make sure that I've got this absolutely spot on. So that's going to move in a little bit and we got something that looks like this. Um, I'm wondering if I should maybe drag that a little bit further. That's better. Do you know what? I think that's that's a basic sound. I think we'll, we'll go with that. So GIF sound number one, let's mix that down so we can save that out. So that's the Michael Jackson eating popcorn sound. Pretty simple to make. That's GIF sounds mix down one. I'm gonna save that out now. So we've got that as a take for the first GIF. And now we'll move on. We'll get rid of GIF number one and everything that's occurred over here. And we'll get over to GIF number two, which is Homer Simpson disappearing away. Let's see what happens here. So we've got... Okay, let's see if I can set a record here and go... Okay, and let's switch that off, increase the volume a bit. Okay, and we still got the reverb on the track, which is actually quite handy at the moment. We might do something with the sound. We want that to be right where his nose disappears. And maybe we'll put a do at the end. So let's try that. Do! There we go. Do! Now, of course, being Homer Simpson, we probably need to get on a little bit of a pitch shifter. Just turn that pitch down a tiny bit. A bit more. There we go. Let's put that at the end there. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to add on some really cool effects like a little bit of phaser. One of my favorite phaser effects is Zed Lepkin. So it's got like a really cool sound to it. Okay, so we've got... Let's move that up a bit. Okay, so we've now got... That's pretty good. And then let's see what we've got here in terms of sound effects. Maybe we can use some um, drones. Let's see what we've got here in drones. Maybe some breakers. Let's put that at the start there. Uh, let's take the start, maybe the start only of this sound effect, like so, and we'll add some studio reverb onto that. Studio reverb, and we're going to make this quite a large reverb. Let's actually drag that out in terms of delay. That's quite nice. That sounds like he's disappearing away. <laughs> That's quite nice. And we'll turn the door up so it's a little bit louder in the mix. There we go. And maybe, maybe even time stretch this out a little bit. There we go. So we've now got... There we go. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Homer Simpson disappearing. Oh, nice. And we've got three simple effects. So a little bit of a suck effect, the start of a breaker, time stretched out and dull pitch shift down. Uh, so let's mix that down to the 
new audio file and we'll save that one out. It actually looks quite nice, doesn't it, as well? So this is GIF sound number two. Go. Go. Let's now move on to GIF sound number three, deleting everything from my multi-track. Now we're moving on to this one, which is the magic. Okay, so I've got to try and sync magic with what he's saying there. Magic. There we go. Magic. And of course I'm pitch shifting, but I can double pitch shift, which would be quite cool. So let's put in a bit of pitch shifter on this track now. And we'll go for time and pitch again, pitch shifter, and we'll pitch shift it up. Magic. There we go. And we'll go left and right as well to really space this out. Magic. Very nice. And a bit of reverb. Magic. Let's turn that magic up so we can hear it louder. Magic. Okay, and we need a little bit of a sprinkly effect. Let's see if we've got that. That could work as part of the effect. Let's drop that in. Let's start again from the start. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, that's a nice sort of magical sound at the end. So maybe not the start bit, but from about this point on, where we say magic. We'll just turn that down a bit in the mix so it's not too loud and bring that in. And we've got something that looks like this. Let's turn magic up a little bit more just so we can really hear it in the mix. That's quite nice, I like that. And just make sure that I'm absolutely syncing with his speech there. Let's just pull that in a little bit and see. That's cool. I think that's my favorite sound so far, so. Maybe what I'm gonna do is stretch out the way magic is said there so it matches a little bit more with his speech and his sort of slow, easygoing intonation. Perfect. Okay. And that is Jeff Sound number three. <laughs> Mix down the entire session. And we'll save this out now as Jeff Sound number three. <laughs> So we've got sounds four and five to get onto. So let's go ahead and do that now in the multi-track. Let's get rid of everything here and bring in GIF number four, which is indeed, yes. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Let's bring that up a little bit in the mix. Cheers. Let's put that at zero. Cheers. Nice, and we'll add on a little bit of chorus as well. I think that's really gonna help with this to space it out a bit. Let's go for bass chorus. Cheers. There we go, nice kind of big. Cheers. And we kind of need, if we can get them, uh, sound effects of fireworks going off. So I'm actually gonna see if I can download any fireworks and often when I'm searching for stuff, I will go I will go ahead and I'll use services like Freesound. I find Freesound to be uh, pretty decent, so I can search for fireworks. Let's go ahead and bring this down here and have a look and see if we can search through. So first of all, we've got to consent to using Freesound. Let's do that. Okay, fireworks. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, distant fireworks. Let's play this. And actually what I'm also looking for is Creative Commons Zero, no copyright. We need a... Oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. That will absolutely do the job. So we'll go ahead, download that. And I can probably go ahead and drag and drop that straight into what I'm working on here in Audition. In fact, let me see if I get that off the screen. I can probably drag it straight into my multi-track. Yes, I can. Okay, so let's really... Scoot that up and bring that in. So we've got actually that leading bit would be quite nice because the fireworks kind of burst around there, don't they? So we've got. Okay, that's not quite sounding right at the moment. We've got a few too many effects going on on that track. So let's get rid of the effects and go back. Okay, probably a little bit too much of an intro on that firework. Let's bring it back a bit. Okay, and let's play back from the start. 
Still a bit too much of an intro. Let's zoom it in. Cheers. Let's try and get the cheers on the bang. Cheers. There we go. Pull that down in volume there. Cheers. And maybe we'll put some reverb on this track as well. Studio reverb's always a good choice. And let's see if we can go. Cheers. And let's drag that down in terms of sound. Cheers. Maybe bring the cheers in a little earlier. Cheers. Just as he raises his eyebrows, preferably. Right about there. Let's bring that in and sync that up. Cheers. Maybe a little bit earlier. Cheers. Not quite. Cheers. Cheers. Bring that in earlier. Cheers. Perfect. And a nice long delay there on the reverb at the end. So let's mix that one down. And now we've got GIF sound number four. Cheers. Cheers. And finally, we'll move on to GIF sound number five which I would imagine is going to be quite quick and easy going uh, because it's Spongebob very quickly covering himself in sand. So we need a kind of... <laughs> Let's do that again. We need a kind of... <laughs> okay, let's bring this onto this track and we've got this going at zero in the center there and we've got something like this. So let's try and get that as he goes into there. We've got this sound coming in, into the sand pit. Okay, that's nearly there. Nearly what I'm looking for. Let's watch the frames of this GIF. So just as he appears, we want that. We want to stretch it out a bit maybe. And then we need... We need that to come in a bit earlier. Let's see if we can get this nice and accurate. And let's stretch out the time on this as well. A little bit too much of a stretch there. Let's actually separate those two out. The one okay and uh, let's see if we can use any sound effect to quite like the crush at the end so let's see if we can use that let's fade that in underneath and see if we can use that as the final little bit Perfect. And then maybe fade that down in the mix a little bit and take the decay down on that a little bit so it doesn't go on forever. Let's move that earlier. Perfect. And look at that. <laughs> Love it. Very simple, very easy. Let's mix that one down and save that. And we have GIF sound number five, easy and ready to go. And there you go, it is done. As you can see and hear, it's as easy as that to make your own sounds in Adobe Audition, even using your voice and a little bit of time delay, a little bit of pitch shifting, a little bit of reverb. You can really create something quite creative that can work with multiple GIFs. Those are my favorite GIFs. Let me know what your favorite GIFs are and maybe post them in the comments down below so I can make some future sounds to those GIF images. Remember to like and subscribe. Creative.com